Well, hello there. You might be wondering, why am I staring at the ceiling? Why am I just sitting here looking up? Well, the thing is, if you look close enough, you might see a brown wand. See that wand up there? Wait, you don't see it? Wait, what about now? Do you see it now? Oh, there it is. Check this out. You know how in the last video I was talking about that all the NPCs were frozen? Well, they are. They they were literally frozen. Look, unfreeze NPCs. Beat up said I could do it. He said it wouldn't ruin his. We'll find out. Here we go. We're gonna unfreeze them. Okay, let's check it out. Let's go over here and see if they're actually moving around now. That's supposed to take care of everything. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> well, they're supposed to be in frozen, man. Oh, this guy looks like he's finally moving around. Oh, hi. Now nah, you're working. There you go. Thank goodness. Let's go check on Etho, shall we? I think Etho finally... Yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy. You're welcome back to the server. Those of you who said Etho wasn't coming back to the server, there he is. Proof that you don't know what you're talking about. All right. So I made two more raptors, and I placed them... Now, before you get mad at me for breaking them, let me explain what I'm doing. Um, somebody told me in the comments that raptors generally are found in Air Force bases. And I want some planes over there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move the raptors over there. And I hadn't put fuel in them yet, so I don't feel guilty about moving them this way. So if you feel really bad about it, then go talk to your therapist and I'm sure he'll help you. He or she will help you figure it out real fast. Let's put this there, mayhaps. Oh, I don't want the black one. I want. What? Can I get the silver one? There you go. Ooh, ah, uh, oh, ow, ooh, e, ah, uh, ah, uh, ouch, ow. <laughs> Hi. Oh my goodness, it's been five days since I've been on the server. That's not true. I've been on the server off and on. Um, but I haven't really... Um, I haven't recorded. And I haven't like been... I haven't really been on the server in any, in any extended sort of way. I kind of took a little vacation. Uh, but we're back. So I, I don't even know the last thing I recorded. I know Schism was on. And I made some planes. So if I repeat myself... You guys are just going to have to accept that and still love me for who I am, man. Love me for who I am. Hi, Captain Cookie. Captain Cookie is one of the things I did while, while we were all gone. Captain Cookie is a chunk loader. I will prove this to you. Chunk loader. Um, and look how much iron he's produced by standing here for three days. You ready to see how much? You ready to see? You ready to see the fruits of your efforts, Captain Cookie? 63. <laughs> I'm never going to get to 30,000. Actually, since the last time I say you, this is how much iron I, he and I have produced. So 64 times 4, that's like 240 plus 16 is uh, 256 plus another 54 is 310. Did I do my math right? I may have done my math wrong. Um... So yeah, I don't I think the dream is over. The dream is over. Captain Cookie was with me all the way. Sorry. Okay. Um so I don't know if that's going to happen. And plus it's like all laggy in here. I think I wonder if it's cuz of Captain Cookie. I still like you. So what are we going to do now? What are we going to do for the rest of the episode? Well, I'll tell you what one thing we're going to do. I don't know if it's going to fill up an episode, but it's time. I'm feeling it in my bones. I feel it in my bones enough to make my systems blow. Or system blow. I forget, is it one system or is it systems? I want to build the palm tree that so many of you suggested I that, that I do it. This was about 11 episodes ago. <laughs> well, we're going to do it, baby. Let me go grab the mats, baby. Did you guys see this? Did you guys see this? Blood. Do you know why there's blood in here? Because uh, Admiral Admiral Wiener, <laughs> he was in here, and uh, yeah, 
I don't know. I don't know what he was doing. Who knows why he does what he does? Okay. Ha ha ha. 16 jumble sat jumble. 16 jumble saplings. Wait, how do you get leaves? Need silk touch, right? Do I need silk touch shears? No, you just need shears. That's all you need. Shears will do it. Yes. Yay. F vanilla Minecraft for the win. Speaking of vanilla Minecraft, another thing I really need to do is I just started a server, a vanilla server, and guess what? Um, I've only done two episodes on it, but I wanted to do Flyboys first because it's been longer since I did Flyboys, but once we do Flyboys, then we're going to get back on the server. It's called uh, Castaways. And you know what? Even like generic B has noticed it. I don't think he's gonna join, unfortunately. He uh, he doesn't do vanilla Minecraft anymore, and he said he won't until something really blows his socks off. Um, but yeah, he really he saw the logo Jay made, and he said he really liked it. Isn't that cool? Um, and he's he's been giving me suggestions. Oh man, this rain! You know what we never do? We never spend enough time in here. Hi, hi, Mister King two 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 seven seven seven. For shipman, how you doing? You keep this, uh, you keep this place clean. You hear? Here, let's just sit down and talk for a moment. Um, anyway, generic B, he's such a nice guy. Like top notch, high quality. He's still in the Flyboys chat, so we you know, he talks with us uh, quite a bit actually. Um, I, I can't imagine a nicer guy and a more prof like he's professional. And he's smart, and he gives good advice. Like, everything you'd hope that he is, he is. So, anyway, just wanted to give a shout-out to Mr. B. Um, hi. Senior Chief Petty Officer Zeus Cannon. <laughs> wow, you know, I, I don't think you can jump over that fence, but you keep trying, buddy. You keep trying. Um, we got... Oh, what the heck? There would be a swan boat in here. <laughs> Hi River, hi Goldcoin, how are you? Lemons Rear Admiral, 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 and Captain Goldcoin, they're uh, they're in my room. Okay, well you, uh, I never use it anyway. You guys go ahead and stay in there. What about up here, control room? Let's see how the ship's doing. You know what? A lot of people lamented the fact that we can't drive the ship anywhere. I'm with you, man. What if we could drive this thing over to the other island and back? That would be amazing, but. It's not going to happen, especially, I mean, even if we did get, like, oh, I forget. Lots of really, I do read, I seriously read every comment. I know you don't believe me, but, oh, hi, Cormac. Cool skin. I love all the military skins. In honor of our uh, wonderful military services around the world. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, there were, I do read every comment, and lots of cool mods were suggested. Um, one of them, of course, being... Uh, Oh, I can't remember the name now. What's the one where you can make boats and airplanes? <laughs> oh, man. I, I can't think of it right now. Anyway, uh, but it's not going to happen. I mean, I, in my happy place, I put thermal expansion. And I put uh, um, tinkers. And I'm fine with this place not moving around. You know what I mean? Like, it's been fun. I just imagine that it's docked. Um, I love my aircraft carrier. I love it so much. And part of the reason I love it so much is because you guys helped me design it. Okay, what the heck are we doing? Oh, yeah. Why did I even go up there? Oh, that's right. I was going to go over to the... I'm going to go start building the uh, palm tree. <laughs> the palm tree. Okay. Um, so, Lemon made... One night we were streaming, and just out of the blue, he kind of made that little thing next to the Kamana. See that silver thing? I love that build. It's so amazing. <laughs> Ah, that's better. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank goodness it's dark now. We can go sleep the night away. Sleeping the night away. Sorry, I know I'm singing a lot in this episode. I hope you can forgive me. Well, hello there. Hey, look at this. Look at all these trees I made. Aren't I amazing? No, I'm kidding. I did not make any of these trees. <laughs> really. In fact... Let's give credit where credit is due. These trees were made by Lenta Briesje. L Lente, uh, I can't pronounce this guy's name. Anyway, I found this on Planet Minecraft. And it comes with schematics and a world save. 
can you believe this? This is amazing. This is like a two-year-old file too, but oh my gosh, look at all these trees. And can you imagine if Minecraft actually generated these kinds of trees? It would be a beautiful game. I mean, it is a beautiful game, but it would be more beautiful -er, as the uh, as they say. So I'm thinking, wow, I'm thinking I want to take that palm tree. I think it looks pretty cool in the distance. Maybe these two and put a few of those by the cabana. I think it looks super, super cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to fly through here and just admire this guy's work. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the Planet Minecraft page. If you want to go download the world or any of the schematics. This, I mean, this guy, this is, this is next level stuff right here. This is so cool. I mean, somebody put their heart and soul into these trees, and it shows. Very good work. Very, very good work. So what do you think? Do you think we should put it right there? I think maybe we should put it right there. Um, I had to go collect some oak leaves, because the schematic calls for oak leaves. So I got a ton of them. I think I got too many, to be honest. Um, so, so much for the jungle leaves. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a waste. And also a waste of all the iron I had to use making shears. What a beautiful sunset. What do you think? Should we put it right next to the thing? Right next. Oh, man. We got a hole in the ground now. Thanks to the lemon. Thanks to ill lemon. I'm sure we can fix it somehow. I've got a ton of sand. Hmm. Or would it look better right next to it just like right up on it i'm gonna put another palm tree i think here maybe or maybe one next to this one like the shorter one that's probably what i'll do you know what i don't like it i do like it right next to it but i don't like it right next to it let's try that now that's not half bad in fact that looks amazing i love schematica <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing I'm not looking forward to on the vanilla server. I'm just going to be brutally honest with you. Brutally honest. I'm not looking forward to uh, building something in creative than having to look at screenshots and build it. Or even like opening up a new instance of Minecraft and having to build it on the Castaway server. Ugh. I kind of wish we'd have just used Schematica on that server. What do you guys think about that? What if we use Schematica on the Castaway server? Would that be cheaty? Would that be lame? Give me your honest opinion, please. All right. New schematica. Oops, let's go over here. Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. Ah, oh, that song's stuck in my head, too. <laughs> that and... Uh, actually, that's the only song stuck in my head. Okay. Um, where are my schematics? Thank you again, Mr. Um, Len... You're a lifesaver. I really didn't want to have to design a palm tree. But I will give him full credit. Oh, yes, I will. So this one maybe could go... How would that look? No, it's too close. Too close. What if we moved it like right here? Move here. There. How's that? Let's have a look and see what that would look like. Is that too far away, I wonder? Actually, that's not too bad. The lone palm tree actually looks pretty good. Um, hmm, I don't like that. Let me try a few things. We can live beside the ocean. Leave it all behind. Swim out past the breaker. Watch the world die. Hey, hey, what do you think? Now those are some smexalicious looking palm trees, if I do say so myself. Look at that. Nice job, Mr. Uh, Lentebriege. Briege. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your name, dude. But that is smexy. And we need like a stone path going right here, don't we? Did I, I think I left. Uh, do I have any? No. Uh, or wooden, maybe? Oh, do you know what? When life gives you lemons, don't make them admirals. No, I mean, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade.
Now that is a screenshot. Well, well, well. I see you. Oh, he's flying the plane away. I see you, pungents. I see you. Cube, this helipad is looking nice. Why, thanks. Thank you very much, sir. How You're you been? You're welcome. Good. How you been? Good. Rumor has it we're on the same team. Well, there's a rumor going around. <laughs> and, uh, I, I'm going to go with it. Dude, I. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was going to say, I say I've been good, but did you... I don't know if you saw the last video. John and I did a little dog fight. And I'm yeah. Still, still a little uh, bent out of shape over that so i just went over there and killed some of their sheep nice i like it that's what <laughs> little, i'm talking about TV. yeah yeah a little target practice oh, yeah. you yeah know? i didn't kill all of them but nah. enough to send a message exactly you got to send a message come on it's combat it's combat i'm with you on that dude yes. so do you know what phase two was weird for me because i kind of got used to be used to you being my enemy so i right. think even now i kind of have that reaction like i don't know if i should trust you oh really isn't that weird yeah i mean we were such yeah. good friends in phase one right so i don't and know really you really latched on to that enemy thing in phase two <laughs> i really did <laughs> it might have been all the sniper bullets to my to my face yeah it, that's, it hurt. that probably had something to do with it <laughs> but Dude, no did you just add these trees uh yeah i did that this morning Oh, that's beautiful. Um, I got it from a schematic, actually. That's what I love about Schematica. No uh, way. Yeah, I'm going to cite the guy. I can't pronounce his name, but I got it off of Planet Minecraft. Aren't those cool? Schematica trees. Yeah. I, why didn't I even think about that? That's that awesome. Cool? Yeah, and they look even better from afar, like when the when they start to fade into each other. Yeah. They totally look like palm trees. I think they do. Yeah, me too. Yeah, oh, that's too great. Yeah. Just thought I'd beautify the place up a bit. I want... I kind of want that little peninsula to be like the relaxation area. Right, you right. Know, if we ever need oh. to come and have a pina colada or something. <laughs> Dude, I hope they I hope they don't blow it up after I'm the sure. battle. We could uh we could head over here. I have know. A nice, have a nice sip. <laughs> I know. Come on. Come on. Team Team Pink, if you're watching, come on. Come on. We should just we should just cover this with like blast resistant blocks. <laughs> I know totally or like obsidian. <laughs> right. <laughs> Then they, if we did that, they think there was a diamond in here for sure. Then they'll blow it up anyway. Exactly. Well, dude, so do you have a specific helicopter you're planning on putting here? Um, what Really what it is, I don't. It's just for us. It's just for whoever wants to come get a drink or chill by the ocean. You can land here. It's oh, easy access. Nice. You know? Yeah, I'm just going to build like a little thing. 
Dude, I pathway. love it. Thanks. What are you up to? I hear you're uh, working on your mighty <sighs> sub. Yeah, I had a crazy idea. Like, yeah. I want to finish the thing soon. Can you give um, me a tour of your sub? I've never oh, actually... Yeah. I've been in there to steal resources. I mean, to borrow resources, but I don't... Wait a minute. <laughs> Um, no, don't worry. Me, resources, <laughs> Ace, two resources. Hey, same, dude. In fact, <laughs> I was like, in the video, I was like, oh, just use one of my planes. Right. I was like, totally. It's our, our planes. Our planes. Right. I appreciate it. But yeah, it's course. good It's good I didn't use it because now we have all of them instead of losing one. <laughs> That's true. Now, whatever. You'd have beat him. He cheated. I don't know how, yeah. but he cheated. Yeah, let's figure out a way. I don't. I can't think of any ways. Well, dude... So, did you see that? Have I shown you that before? You climb up this. No, I these are these are actually hatches. You can climb up hatches. Oh yeah. What? I didn't know yeah. that. No, Me I neither. I, I, I didn't found know out that. by accident. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I have to remember that. The only thing is, it, do you see it turning into that cobble texture? Yeah, sadly. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> but you know, you log back on and it goes away, right? Right. Yeah, that's too bad. So come on down. Okay, I'm coming down. It's a little chilly down here. Ooh, oh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, oh, yes. Makes me want to get in one of these beds. Yes, warm up. To, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh well, my dude, gosh. So this is like it's this is room. like what I like to call a crazy town. Yeah. <laughs> it's starting no. now. It looks like a control room in a sub, dude. Nice job. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's just supposed to have like a bunch of machine looking things. These are mm -hmm. actually all functional stuff, like fluid fluid transposer. No way. Uh, yeah, a little of this, a little of that. That's little cool. secret door. What? A couple guns back here. Oh my gosh. That I won't use. That's but... cool. Oh really? Well, I will be using the grenade launcher. I know I'll be mm -hmm. using that to battle. What's wrong with this one? I don't like it. <laughs> oh, you don't like it. I thought it was like against the Geneva Convention or something, but you just don't right. Like it. Okay, okay. No, I think it's what is that one? I think it might be the saw. It mm -hmm. was good, but I can't I can't get a darn kill with that thing. But dude, with the AUG with the C mag, you oh get my gosh, you get a hundred rounds. Yeah, that's going to be my gun too. I watched your video on that too. I was like, yep, yes, that's my gun. There it is. Mm -hmm. uh, sleeping quarters, of course, and then the dining room. Oh, this is nice, and I love how you can sit in these chairs now. Oops. Yes. There you go. Oh yeah, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. Um. Oh, I love the carpenter's here. hatches on the wall too. That looks. Oh, cool. I thank you. Yeah, and I. I switched it up. Some of them are flat. Some have yeah. different textures and stuff. Yeah, they look like cupboards. It's awesome. Oh, what's so, this? Ooh. Yeah. What? Schism. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Axe breaks this, this faster. Schism came in. He pranked me. Mm -hmm. Throwing these punchy sticks Figures. all over the no, place. No, this is cool. Now, this video I didn't get all the way through. I saw you starting to build this, and I saw you right when you put this in the wall. I had to quit. But this looks great, dude. Why, thank you. You're welcome. Nah, this is yeah. awesome. So this is another one I have to finish. Basically, mm -hmm. a lot of the rooms, I just have to continue with the same theme and just fill it up. Yeah. But let me show you what I do today. All right, let's see. I will show you what I do today. Um, now, the people watching both of our perspectives, mm -hmm. or at least people watching my perspective, yep. uh, are you still doing some stuff with the helipad, or is it finished? Uh, no, I'm going to still do some. Okay, yeah. So if you want to see the helipad finished, Check out Cube's video. And same He's with the, the uh, same. sub. Same yes. day. Yeah, same day. Same day. Mm -hmm. Well, dude, here's here's the idea. Okay, let's hear it. Um, I'm kind of making this up. I was looking for pictures. People were saying, hey, you should have like a missile that launches out of the top or something. I was like, that's a great idea. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's a really cool idea. Yeah. So, oh. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little blast in here. Mm -hmm. Hello. Um, and I'm thinking of having it like, let, let me let me just give you a little taste, mm -hmm. a little taste, okay. something like a little bit of this, oh, you know, yeah. oh, and a little yeah. bit of this, a little bit of this. That looks good. And I have an idea. I we don't really have missiles, but right. I found oops, oops, I found something. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> I found something that will kind of look like a missile that I'll put in the middle. I still have to craft it. Oh yeah, but. Uh, I'm gonna do that, and then, dude, have I? I think I've shown you these covers, right? Um, covers. What? Yeah. What yeah. is this? Yes, these are covers. Well, let, let me show you how it works. So, what? dude, if you mix one of these with a block, any block of your choice, uh -huh. it makes a cover like this. So check this out. 
and you can place it anywhere you want along that, even in the middle. Oh my like, gosh! Like such. Wow. Yeah. You blew my mind, Mr. Punge. Well, that's the goal. <laughs> and I don't want this here. But one interesting thing about it is, mm -hmm. one shot, gone. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, that is interesting. <laughs> but yeah, so. Wait a minute. Let me think here. No, I actually have. I'm Cover. planning on having these on the other side. How the yeah. heck do you make those? Cover. It's not too bad, actually. Let me see. I forgot already. Quilted cover, structural. Oh, the structural duct opaque. So, yeah, lead ingot and then okay, iron nuggets. Iron nuggets on the side. So what you're doing is you're just putting a block on it, and that turns it into a cover? Like if you're just... you, And you're crafting. When, yeah. you, when you craft the cover with a block, it makes six of them. Oh. If that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. But, but yeah, I've been looking for a purpose for these things, and I think I have found the purpose. Well, I'm excited to see what you do. Yes. Oh, another thing, really quick. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I wanted to show you this. One of my, one of the people in the comments were telling me with this. I just made this. What is this called? Long, long sword. Yeah, yeah. I made this so I could have fortune on it, so I could get more ender pearls. I'm not going to use in the battle. That's right. But dude, so I got the I got the high jump, the double jump. What? I am so behind. If you charge this sword with right clicking, <laughs> yeah, it launches you. Mm -hmm. So dude, I found out I can jump like five blocks. So you go, you got the double jump. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. But if I charge this, one, two, three, it's like a it's oh like a triple jump. Oh my gosh, jump that is awesome. Let's try it again. Dude, you're putting in work. Yep. Yeah, it's just a really let me let me see the exact number. So I'm at okay. Y sixty six. Okay. Seventy one. Wow. So that's, dude, that's five blocks. Five blocks, dude. Woo. That's key. Because mobility it's, in the battle is so important, as we know. Right. Now I couldn't use it as a sword because I think the, the tinker swords are off limit. Limit. So any swords are right. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Right. But I could yeah. use it for jumping. There you go. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome, dude. Yes. Yeah, I I've been watching some of your vids. I need those boots. That'll be key yes. if we get shot down over the water. Right. Yeah. Um and we this is a little spoiler, but we have uh -oh. been talking about spoiler. doing a skirmish. We don't have a date set, but we got to get a we got to get a skirmish going. That's right. And this isn't one of these pie crust promises, people. Easily no. made, easily broken. I was gonna say pie crust promise. What's that? <laughs> yes. Easily made, easily broken. Is pie crust that easy to make? Um, I don't know. I got that from a girl in high school. It's been years. <laughs> <laughs> she must make a lot of pies because I don't know how to make a pie I, crust. I don't either, dude. Apparently, well, if you think about it, they're flaky. And, right, yeah. easily broken. Yeah. So yeah, I used to tell her like, "Oh yeah, I'll come over this weekend," or I'd be like, "Oh yeah, we'll go there." She's like, "Is that another pie crust promise?" And I was like, "What is it? What?" She's like what? easily made, easily broken. She's <laughs> just like, I don't know. You just made me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's all I was thinking about in high school, dude. Food. Right. Well, oh, man. man. Anyway. Yes. Well, dude. Cool, dude. This has been really great. I can't wait to see your helipad. Thanks, man. I can't wait to see you to do what you do with the missiles. Yes, yes. Sweet. All well, right, man. Good luck to you, sir. You too. All see right. you later. See you. Bye. Isn't Pungent's an amazing guy? Honestly, like, he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. I've never met him in real life, obviously, but that, like, when you think of first-class individuals, like, somebody who's trustworthy, somebody who's honest, somebody who just doesn't have a bad bone in his body. I'm not saying he's not perfect. I'm sure he does bad stuff sometimes, but... But when you want to find someone you can describe that way, I can think of no one better than Pungence. And honestly, his brother B-Dubs is like that too. I'm not just saying that because I'm on the server with him. Look how cool. Okay, enough about them. Let's talk about me. Look how amazing I am. <laughs> no, really. Look at this helipad, man. I think it's sexy. But uh, no, seriously, about uh, B-Dubs and Pungence. Um, and all the guys on the server, really. They're all really, really trustworthy good guys. And that's what you want when you're on a server with people. I think that helipad looks really good. Um, you want to play with people who you can trust. You want to play with people who you can, um, who are kind. People who are kind individuals and who are giving and who go out of their way to put other people before them. And that's what Pungence does. That's what B-Dubs does. 
If you're playing on a server with people who don't do that, get off that server. It's not worth it. If you have friends that are not like that, get rid of them. I know it's easier said than done, especially if you're young. Like when you're young, it's really hard to, uh, let's see, what am I doing? I know, because when I was younger, I had some crappy friends and um, one of them I finally just got rid of. And it sucked and it was hard and we don't talk anymore. But he was bad for me. He was really bad for me. And it was one of the best decisions I ever made. So it takes a lot of courage, kids and adults, <laughs> to sometimes say goodbye to the people that shouldn't be in our lives. Uh, I didn't mean to go off on another speech. Th that's actually a subject that maybe we should talk about some other time. How do I zoom in with this thing? No, let's zoom out. Okay, I think I think things look pretty good. Right, what I'm going to do now is I collected some wood. And I'm just going to build the uh, pathway over to the cabana. And I'll show you that next time. It's going to be just like that pathway, but over straight to the cabana. Maybe connecting with that one. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world. Ooh, there's another nice screenshot. Should we take that one? Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. It means so much to me. And I'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.